Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Dadan bin Jeffrey and today I'll demonstrate how to create and compile MPI files on Ubuntu. Firstly, we must open Ubuntu. I'll be using Oracle VirtualBox to use Ubuntu. So open Oracle VirtualBox and press the green arrow start button to run the virtual machine. My Ubuntu version is 20.04. Now that our Ubuntu is up and running and is functioning correctly, we can start with our coding. Firstly, we must press on Terminal. You can find this on the left side of the screen. This is the Terminal. In the Terminal, we can write certain codes to do different things such as create, compile, delete, etc. Firstly, we must ensure that we are in the correct directory. So to check which directory we're at, we can use the command pwd. As you can see, we are currently at the home page. Now I want to upload my code onto the desktop. So I can use the command cd desktop to go to the desktop directory. Now we are at the desktop directory. So to create a file, we would use the command sudo nano with the file name. So in my case, I would use sudo nano lab2.c. Now in my case, it requires me to enter a password to create the file. When I enter the password, no visible characters can be seen for security reasons. And if I enter correctly, we will see this. Now under the GUN nano terminal, we would enter our code. So here's an example of a simple code that I have created. Now to check back on our coding once we have saved, we would use um, the command sudo get it. So in my case, I would use sudo get it lab2.c. Now here's the my coding on a notepad. To compile an MPI file, we will use the command MPI cc o uh, a new name and the file name so in my case i will use mpicc o lab2 and the file name lab2.c now that we have compiled and built the file we can now view the output by using the command sudo dot slash the name of the, the file so in my case it will be sudo dot slash lab2 and as you can see we get the outcome all right that's all for me thank you very much for watching